In this Blender video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually rig a propeller in Blender. Obviously it doesn't have to be a propeller, it can be a wind turbine or a ship screw, anything you wish, but in this case I'm going to be teaching it as a propeller, in this case a 109. Obviously it definitely has its place, as you can see it's over these pictures here. The idea is just to have a propeller that you can easily rig and that does not require any keyframes. As you can see in this video, if you focus on the front of the 109, it has a nice rotation and with a lot of blur. Let's go into Blender. Right now I have a simple 109 setup here. This is just a main fuselage with propeller. It's important that your propeller is not attached to your, um, to your 109 in this case. You're gonna want to only make it apparent. So in other words, this fuselage or this main body here is actually apparent to this. So what happens is when I select this, I say it like rotate or anything like that, the, the, the propeller actually goes with it. And so, but also the, the propeller itself can also be rotated. So that's important. That had to be two separate pieces. Okay, get started here. All I'm gonna do is make sure that the point of origin of the propeller is um, directly in the center. So if I rotate the propeller, we get that result right there. Now I'm gonna move the point of origin to show you what you don't want. You wouldn't want this to happen. Where you can be rotating your propeller and does something like that. Your point of origin needs to be straight. So it needs to be like right in the middle of your propeller and centered right on the nose. So that the propeller rotation actually looks right. And I'm, get, I'm going to rotate on the Y axis. So it's necessary that you're actually, because like if I were to rotate on the Z axis, you would get that result and the X axis that result. It's gonna be the Y axis. Now if your propeller is pointed in like the X direction, for instance, you want to make sure that your um, propeller is going to rotate on the X axis. But in this case, mine's gonna be on the Y axis. So you're gonna want to right click Y rotation and then click add driver. And you get this, you can just move your mouse out of it. And we see we got a purple line or a rotation, that's just fine. And your next step is to add an empty. Now press Shift A, add an empty, that's because I'm using a cone empty. I'm using a cone empty because I want to determine the basic direction, so RSD 180 fixes that problem, faces forward. We use 3 on the number pad, and bring the S with the scale down, and GZ up a little bit. All you want is the point of origin to be on the Z axis. In other words, Y location of this is going to be at zero. Okay, with all of this done, we're going to hit propeller. Just make sure your propeller is selected. Go over to this. And under animation, select drivers. Make sure it is selected. Um, press N on the uh, keyboard. Bring you to this, go over to drivers, and let's get started here. All you're gonna wanna do right now is to rename this variable. I'm gonna, you can call it anything you'd like. I'm calling this one throttle, so go ahead and type that in, press enter, and press add input variable. Bring you to this set of here. Go over to your second one here, and type in current frame, so. And it's very important for me to say here, before I get too far into it, is that you wanna spell everything right because using Python scripts. Speaking of that, go over to Edit, Preferences, and ensure that Auto Run Python Scripts is selected or is turned on. Save user settings and exit out of this. Now under the word says throttle, this little section here, go ahead and click that and select your empty. This is the empty that we actually added above the 109. Change this from X location to Y location, if you're on the Y axis. Under current frame, select the scene. So you're gonna want to go to the left one, press scene, then go to the side and select that particular scene. Now it's important to copy the data path and making sure you're on frame one, right click that, say copy data path, select control V, enter, that brings in frame current. And up over here where it says the, the expression is var plus 5.205, um, just go ahead and rename that and call it current frame. Make sure if you spell everything right. Shift eight brings me to the asterisk or the times, and then type in throttle. Uh, I'm using throttle because that's, that's the term I use here. Okay, you're actually done with the animation area. Just go back to the, the, the 3D viewport, and what you're seeing here is being a little bit different. All, all I'm going to be doing here, the, the the cone empty here. If you press G and Y, you move forward. You see you got rotation with the um, with the blades. Now, in Blender version 2.79, what happened was if you went to a different uh, different frame and you move this forward, and you went back to frame one, press play, you can actually watch it rotate. Uh, 2.8 doesn't be doing that right now, so it's pretty much easy to fix that. You can do go, just go to like a right side view, make the value of the of the cone empty, add it zero. The location just say zero. Set a keyframe. So under with your mouse over the Y location, just press I, and that adds in the keyframe. Um, go over to uh, the second frame which is frame two, and then you can move forward the Y. Or, yeah, move forward and the I, to add the keyframe. 
and you can try again. Now you see we have different kind of uh, rotation there. Still adjust the cone. Sometimes it's actually best to make, move forward or even less. Um, if you were to run to this right now, well, it would turn out looking is a little bit weird. It would look just like this, which, hey, you might, you might, like, you might like that. I mean, I kind of like it. Um, unfortunately, if you want to go for realism, as you can see here, we're definitely not going to obtain that. You're going to see, um, it's just not going to look right. It's going to look like, when you pause the video, you're going to see that. Let's look how it's kind of stopped. You don't want that to happen. You want to be sure that you're actually doing this very realistically. <laughs> so going over to the render settings, it's very easy to fix this. All you have to do now is, hit, under motion blur, just check that. Give me a shutter speed of one, and there you go. When you render this out, we're going to have motion blur, just like that, or that, or that, or obviously this, the rotation there. Now what's really neat about this is the fact that when this is rotating, and even though you told it to spin on the y-axis, you can still rotate your object or your plane, and the propeller will spin in any direction. That is very neat. You select the 1 and 9, and obviously the propeller, and you say Shift D and duplicate the, the plane. You actually get this one cone empty controlling both of them. If you want to have um, a million of these things, you can actually do that. It's not going to require many empties being made, so you can just literally have the entire formation flying with propeller spinning. That's what makes this thing neat, is the fact that you could definitely do this without having any issues. Okay, well that pretty much sums it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and that was helpful to you.